Hi everyone, welcome to the NDS at the Corner and welcome to our tutorial about solving word problems involving quadratic inequalities. This is our given word problem at ito ay real life application ng quadratic inequalities. Darren wants to build a rectangular garden enclosed with a fence. He wants the length of the garden to be 5 meters longer than the wheat. If the area of the garden must be less than 14 square meters, what are the possible dimensions of Darren's garden? First, let us identify ano yung mga given natin dito sa ating problem. We have here the length which is 5 meters longer than the width and then the area that must be less than 14 square meters. Now, let x be the width of the garden. So, kung ito yung ating rectangular garden, our width here is x. At kung ang width natin ay x, according to the problem, our length must be 5 meters longer than the width. So, ang ating magiging length is x plus 5. Okay? So, the width plus 5. Now, si area naman ng ating rectangular garden must be less than 14 square meters. Hindi ko na muna nilalagyan ng unit yung ating representations. So, in symbol, yung area natin, okay, area is less than 14, okay? Now, alam naman natin na ang pagkuha ng area is equal to length times width. Let's use this length times width. Papalitan ngayon natin yung A ng length times width. So, ang magiging inequality natin para sa ating given problem ay length. Okay, so we have the quantity x plus 5 times the width, which is x, is less than 14. Ito yung ating magiging inequality. Now, let's use that to solve for the possible dimensions of Darren's garden. Let's solve the given inequality. We have quantity x plus 5 times quantity x is less than 14. Ang una natin gagawin ay palitan yung less than symbol ng equal sign. Okay? And magkakaroon tayo ng equation na x squared plus 5x is equal to 14. Now, gawin natin standard form yung ating quadratic equation. Gawin natin 0 yung isang side. Mag-add tayo both sides ng negative 14 para maging 0 yung nasa right side. And ang may iwan naman sa left side ay x squared plus 5x minus 14. Kaya may 0 tayo sa kabilang side because 14 minus 14, that is 0. Let's solve this equation using factoring. Mag-isip tayo ng factors ng negative 14 na kapag pinag-add, ang magiging sagot ay positive 5. What are those numbers? Answer is 7 and negative 2. 7 times negative 2, we have negative 14. And then 7 plus negative 2, we have positive 5. Yan ang gagamitin natin sa ating factored form. So we have here quantity x plus 7 times quantity x minus 2 is equal to 0. Ito na yung factored form natin. Now, let's use the zero product property. Unahin natin si x plus 7. This will become x plus 7 is equal to 0. Add tayo both sides ng negative 7 para x na lamang ang maiwan sa left side. And then, x is equal to 0 minus 7 that is negative 7. Yan yung unang value ng x. Next, Kunin natin yung x minus 2. Okay, equate natin into 0. Mag-add tayo both sides ng positive 2 para x lamang ang maiwan sa left side. So, we have x is equal to 2. Ang mga nakuha nating values ng x ay tinatawag nating critical points. Yan ang gagamitin natin para dito sa ating real number line. Let's proceed to our next step. So, i-locate natin or i-plot natin yung ating critical points sa ating real number line. And, anong circle muna ang ating gagamitin sa pagpa-plot ng critical points? Yes, we are going to use hollow circle because our symbol here is less than. So, we have negative 7 and positive 2. Ang hollow circle na ginamit natin ay nangangahulugan din na ang 2 at negative 7 ay hindi kasali sa ating solution set. Ngayon, nagkaroon tayo ng tatlong regions sa pamamagitan ng ating critical points. 
Sa first region, nandito yung real numbers less than negative 7. Sa second region naman, pagitan ng negative 7 at positive 2. Ito ay mga real numbers na greater than negative 7 and less than positive 2. Sa third region naman, nandito yung mga real numbers na greater than positive 2. Now, sa bawat region, kukuha tayo ng test points kung saan gagamitin natin ito para ma-identify saan ba tayo magkakaroon ng true inequality kung saan yun ang magiging solution set ng ating given. Sa unang region, ang magiging test point natin ay negative 8. Sa pangalawang region, piliin natin na test point ang zero. At sa pangatlong region, ang pipiliin nating test point ay positive 4. Ang mga test points na ito ay sa-substitute natin sa variables dito sa ating given quadratic inequality. Unahin natin yung negative 8. So, our inequality will become quantity negative 8 plus 5 times negative 8 is less than 14. So, yung mga x na variable, pinalta natin ng negative 8. I-simplify natin itong nasa left side. So, we have negative 8 plus 5. Answer is negative 3. And then, kopyahin natin yung negative 8 that is less than 14. Negative 3 times negative 8, answer is positive 24, which is not less than 14. Meaning, ang ating naging inequality ay false. Next, kuhanin naman natin yung 0. I-substitute natin dito sa variable x ng original inequality. We have quantity 0 plus 5 times 0 is less than 14. Simplify natin. 5 times 0, we have 0, which is less than 14. And this is a true inequality. So, para sa ating second region, we have a true inequality. Next naman is yung 4 para sa third region. Ipalit natin sa ating variable na x. So, we have quantity 4 plus 5 times 4 is less than 14. Simplify natin. 4 plus 5, we have 9 times 4. Ang magiging result ay 36. Okay, which is not less than 14. This is false. Tingnan natin yung ating mga regions. Sa first region, false ang lumabas doon sa ating pagtetest. Second region, true. And then third region, false. Ibig sabihin, ang solution set natin or yung mga values na gagamitin natin na sagot ay nasa second region. Kaya lang, since ang ating isinosolve ay real-life problem, tignan natin mabuti yung ating mga pwedeng maging solution set. So, ang tanong sa atin is ano yung possible dimensions ng garden ni Darren. Nirepresent kanina natin ang width ng x and then yung length naman ng garden ay x plus 5. Dito sa ating solution set, mayroon tayong numbers na negative na kasama sa ating solution set at mayroon ding zero. Kaya lang, hindi naman natin pwedeng gamitin ang negative number at ang zero bilang value ng x. Kasi wala naman tayong negative na sukat ng width at wala naman tayong zero na sukat ng width para sa garden. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, dito lamang tayo pipili ng ating possible solutions dito sa numbers na greater than zero but less than positive 2. So marami tayong values na pwedeng kuhanin dito sa pagitan ng 0 at positive 2. Just like 1.5, maaari ding fraction, pwedeng 1 half, and so on. Itesting natin, kuha tayo ng value ng x. Okay, kung kukunin natin ay 1, ano ang magiging length natin? Since ang ating length ay x plus 5, it will become 1 plus 5. So, ang magiging length natin ay 6 kung ang width ay 1. What if kuhanin natin yung 1.5 as the width? Ang magiging length natin ay 6.5 because 1.5 plus 5, that is 6.5. I-check natin muna kung ang ating mga inilistang dimensions ay possible answer doon sa ating problem. Gamitin natin yung original inequality mula doon sa ating given word problem. 
So, kung ang width natin ay 1, ibig sabihin x is equal to 1, ipalit natin yan sa ating inequality, magkakaroon tayo ng 1 plus 5, that is the length. So, 1 plus 5, we have 6, times 1, 6 is less than 14, and that is true. Next, we have 1.5. Kung width ay 1.5, so i-add natin yung 5, ang length natin ay 6.5. I-times natin sa ating width na 1.5, ang magiging result natin ay 9 and 7500 or 9.75. It's less than 14. This is also true. Ang condition naman dito sa ating problem ay the area must be less than 14 square meters. And Yung mga nakuha naman natin ay less than 14. Kaya the possible dimensions of the garden ay 1 meter for the width and 6 meters for the length. We also have 1.5 meters para sa width and 6.5 meters para sa length. At marami pang ibang possible dimensions. Okay, basta magsasatisfy sa ating given conditions. That's it for our tutorial regarding solving word problems involving quadratic inequalities. We hope that you subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.